I'm Scott. Today, I'm going to show you how to make strawberry jam. Uh, I'm getting the strawberries uh, from the strawberry garden here. It's my own strawberry garden. The first step is to get a chefing tool. I got this one at Williams Sonoma. You press and hold the green button. Uh, grab the, uh, the green of the strawberry with it. Release. Push it in. Twist and pull it out. And now the green is out. I want seedless jam, so I'm using a food mill. It takes out about 90% of the seeds. So, here's a picture of it. And I'm going to put some strawberries in. Not too many at once, though. I'd say about... That's good to start. And you just start turning it. Oh, you have to hold the handle, though. I'm just going to put it here so I can hold it and still turn it. I cleaned these uh, jars, uh, so I put them in this uh, boiling hot uh, pan um, uh, so that they would sterilize themselves. After um, after they've been like boiled, after they've been sterilized, you turn down the heat so that they uh, they're still hot for when you put the jam in. This is uh, the canning pot. Um, I'm all, uh, you heat the water till it boils and you keep it there so that it's ready because it takes a while. And after you're done with, uh, using the food mill for the jam, uh, you pour it in here. After the jam is complete and in the jar, uh, we put it in here to process for five minutes. You need one cup of sugar for every half pound, so I put four cups of sugar in here. And you also uh, need lemon juice, and after you have both of those, you pour them into the Dutch oven. So that's what I'll do now. Put that in, wait for it to drip. There. Now I'll pour the sugar in. There. All the lemon juice and sugar is in. And now I pour this in into the Dutch oven too. It's uh, the it's the squeezed strawberries without seeds. Let it turn it upside down. Oops, a little dripped over the side, but that little tiny bit isn't even for it. And so, you, after you do that, you put in a cooking thermometer, uh, and then you stir it with a spatula. Sugar is still pretty uh, lumpy because it's all together, so it's kind of hard to stir, but I, I can still do it. After you stir it, you turn the mixture up to 220 degrees, uh, is, and you keep stirring. I'm turning it up to medium heat until it gets to 220 degrees. And then I'm going to cook it for five minutes. After that, we put it in the jars. And then we put it in the water bath for processing. And then it's good for two years in a can. I guess that's it for how to make strawberry jam, and if you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and click here to subscribe, uh, and if you want to see my other videos, click here. See you next time. Bye!